Today we will create a dashboard based on the ChatGPT suggestions. I know it's all the craze these days, so why not to use it for the Home Assistant? First off, we'll add a new dashboard from scratch. We'll call it ChatGPT. Let's find a robot icon for it. We have, it. We have our dashboard ready. When I asked ChatGPT what dashboard should look like for the Home Assistant, it said that it can be both fun and practical. Here's a proposed layout. In the header section, it suggested to include the home's nickname for personalized touch and a weather widget to display current condition and forecast. So let's do exactly that. In order to do that, we will add the title card. We'll use mushroom cards just for the sake of simplicity, though you can pretty much use any other card you may want. So we'll start with hello user. Now, the first card is done. We will then add a weather widget. Weather, there we go. Weather is not looking great, but hey ho, what can you do? The next section is quick controls. Buttons for most common actions like turning on off lights, adjusting thermostat, locking doors, etc. And group those controls logically like lights, climate, security. So let's do that. Let's do the grid card. Within that grid card, we'll add a few lights. Let's do king, copy, paste, queen, and Professor, Princess, Lounge, 1 and 2, and shall we say Kitchen. Alright, there we go, we have our light controls. The next one was thermostat, so let's add the thermostat. There we go. By the way, the thermostat card, default card for Home Assistant got so much better these days. It looks really, really good. There's no real need for any other custom cards from Hacks. And for security, shall we say we add another grid and call it entity card. Here we go, mushroom entity. We're gonna go doors and we're gonna go windows. All right, both of them are unavailable. Don't worry about that. Uh, that would be fixed before we see the end result. Promise. Now the next one was a room by room overview. That will take some time to build. So let's get started. So it says a grid layout with each card representing a room in your house. Start over with the grid card, followed by the area card, then start to knock the areas. Here we have the king, win, professor, princess, lounge, office. Let's stop here. We can probably do more, but that's probably a good enough. So we can potentially set up the camera feed, although I didn't connect any cameras to Home Assistant for various reasons, so we're not going to do that. Choose navigation paths, alert classes, all sorts, but let's just for now save it and continue working through our list. So we already have lights and switches, exactly like ChatGPT suggested, and it suggested that we do it in such a way that by clicking it, it will expand the full view. Love to do that, but that would require conditional cards, which means we'll stay here for a while. So instead, we'll just build the navigation paths on a different dashboard. That's just going to be easier. So navigation part, kitchen. There you go. Solves the problem just in a slightly different manner. Room by room overview, shall we say complete? Next stop, energy monitoring. But that's a great question as to how best to do the energy monitoring. How about this? We're going to use cumulated consumption in pounds. Good enough. And there you have it. We have our energy monitoring. The next step is the security section. I am honestly not entirely sure why we need another security section since we already had it in a quick control. So we'll skip over that as ChatGPT just doubling down on the same thing and move over to automation overview. Automation overview may not be a bad idea, so auto entities, that sounds like fun. Auto entities is something you can get on the hacks. In order to do that, you can set the domain, automation, and there we have it. There you go. Exactly what ChatGPT wanted. Notification Not panel, keep over that because at the end of the day there are automations with notifications that you can set up to achieve exactly that i'm not sure you're going to read through notifications on the dashboard a lot easier when they come as if and when they happen so look folks this does not look great does it so let me do some magic and 
come back to you when a better looking version. All right, this looks way better now. We've essentially assembled all of our cars into a single grid, which helps it to look so much more compact and succinct. I'm not entirely sure about the list of all the automations, therefore I will just... And there you have it, nice and easy, nice and beautiful. And as promised, here's the fixed doors and windows. So now it's truly a security thing. Ignore the unavailable bulbs. Unfortunately, the family chooses to switch off at the switch and not use the smart home. So we have to live the way we have. There you have it. Nice, easy, convenient dashboard developed by ChatGPT. In a matter of seconds, give you some good ideas. If you continue to prompt it, probably will give you some more ideas. So definitely an, a source of inspiration.